Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. How is everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. A very, very happy new year and a Merry Christmas as well. I don't think I ever uh, actually said that in a video. So hope you're all doing well and have had a lovely time. And here's to a good, a good new year. Last episode, we got started with some pneumatic raft uh, and we got we got ourselves all of the pneumatic things and i've been i've been i've been i've been busy i've been busy basically understanding and learning how this works and um one thing i have oh look at the speed i have speed in fact i've been faster but um that's not bad speed but what <laughs> watch this i've got ridiculous ridiculous jump boost on uh, and coupled with that it just like I just can like leap so high and far it's a bit it's a bit crazy <laughs> like it's it's bonkers it's it is can I can it oh oh no wait hang come on come on oh I just can't get up there I am on um full jump boost it is it is still crazy. Uh, can I get up there? No. Oh, man. I have been doing it better. Right, where am I? Okay. So, let's uh, let's go and show you what I have. I basically, I have a fair few things uh, on right now. I One of them is I've got a reach capacity. So, um, so uh, I should, can I, can I get that? No. It's quite hard to see, actually. Uh, have I got it on? I figured I did. Oh, maybe I don't. Right, let's go here. <clears throat> Enable reach boost is on. <coughs> Magnet isn't. Uh, so these are the, all the things that I have currently. Step assist I have, but I don't have it on because I have it as a trinket baubly thing. Uh, jump boost, run speed. So reach boost basically uh, allows you to reach farther. And I don't know why it's not exactly working right now. That seems a bit random. It was working earlier, and I don't know why it isn't now. But basically, it just allows you to reach um, an extra four blocks, I think, or something. So I don't know why it's not doing it. It should. It really should. Um, but this is how you do a fair few things. I've got night vision, which is great. Jump boost uh, took a lot of like faffing around, basically. But if we come to the charging station, basically... You'll see this here, uh, and then the upgrades that we have. I've put four armor upgrades in every one, and that basically gets us to like uh, I I can't I can't remember. It gets us so full um, full iron, and then one and a half extra. So it's pretty good. Um, not like super, but pretty good. Um, so in here I have the entity tracker, which is pretty nice, and night vision, which I needed to make uh, night vision goggles for. The jump boosts uh, were, yeah, and I've got speed upgrades as well. There you go. Jump boost, um, I needed potions of leaping. So if you don't know how to make those, you need the rabbit's foot. So I had to kill some wabbits, but I've got like luck. I don't know, what is it? Looting 7. So that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. So this is how you do it. And this has a pressure um, currently of, there you go, 5 point... Oh, it's dropping because I guess, yeah, I've got nothing in there. I'm going to be upgrading all of this system uh, today as well because this is, like, it's annoying to keep having to use all of that. So this basically, you can sort of see it has like two durabilities. Um, it has, I'm guessing, well, it has the pressure. There you go, 4.4, um, which that's all it can do because that is basically a 4.4. And that's because this basically goes up to that. Ah, you can see my map is down here because uh, up here in the top right, you can sort of see what all of the pressure is up at. So that's why... That's why that has happened. Um, so I've got a good amount of stuff now. Uh, oh, yeah, that's got the magnet upgrade, which is quite nice. You know, uh, it's basically just a magnet. Uh, I've only got one magnet, but you can upgrade it to about, I don't know, like three, um, which is pretty cool. In fact, what else you can see is all of these, basically, which is quite nice. So magnet upgrade, you can have six. There you go. Base range is four. Each upgrade installed extends the range by one block. And... 
the good thing is as well about all these things is you can you can there you go you can bind all of these to a, a specific key which is pretty great like that is i think really rather amazing um and there you go it initializes which is cool it tells you on the left what you've got installed i really like this system i think it's pretty nice but what i wanted to show you is uh the end the entity tracker. So let's just go over here and it will show you. Uh, oh no, have I not got any? Oh, there's, there's loads of things here, but not on the surface. Let's just go uh, and go around. Stuff should spawn, surely. Surely, surely, surely. I'm alone on the server as well right now. So I should, like, stuff should spawn in, right? That's some spiders. That's fun, but not... Oh, there we go. Right. There we go. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. There you go. And it sort of tells you stuff. How cool is that? How I, I really like that. I think that's really kind of quite neat. Um, So it's got... Yeah, I can't remember what the range is. It's maybe... I don't know, like 10-ish blocks, 15 blocks, something like that. But I think that's a really nice nice and cool, interesting thing. It, it does passive mobs as well, and you can see they're green. Um, but what a cool thing. What a cool thing to have. And currently I've got that like on a hotkey, so I can just turn it off and on. But I'm really liking that. Anyway, on to more pneumatic craft things. Right, look at this. Uh, so this is like the assembly thing. It's... Um, I guess multi-block, uh, can you call it that? You've got like all these parts. And to begin with, I was having a bit of trouble um, knowing where to put all of these. But basically, it's one of everything. This is the in import, that is the export. It's basically the, the exact same thing, except one of them's blue, which denotes import. And then you have assembly platform, drill, and laser. Um, and, and the assembly controller, which is the thing that needs power. And then in here, you put like a program uh, which you basically have to get from uh, the Amadron tablet or you can get two of those but that one needs that now I was I was struggling I was struggling with getting this working because if we look at that you can see a uh, block of compressed iron gives you eight advanced pressure tubes in fact let's let's just make that so you can sort of see it in action um, because it is it is quite nice compressed iron yeah there we go, bam, bam. So uh, there needs to be a chest by the import. There we go. Uh, and now you can see it's running. And then there needs to be a chest by the export uh, assembly unit. But basically, you can you can see essentially what is happening. You, that comes on there. It will put it on there. And then it will make it into these advanced pressure tubes. Now, the assembly program drill, if you look at the uses, there's oh there's different things that it can make oh that's quite nice that's quite interesting uh pressure chamber valves uh and that ah look at that oh interesting interesting um there we go it is doing that it is drilling how cool how nice how great is that i i really do like this sort of system but i was having a, a struggle because if we look at uses or of that obviously you get you get that but the recipe is this so an empty PCB, putting it on there, you should get an unassembled one with this program. Um, that did not work for me. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I've not actually seen this one in action. I kind of went away and, and did a thing. But that's that's pretty nice so far. So anyway, um, it seems that for this to work, you still need the drill and laser one. So that is... Just, I guess, just a little glitch. I don't know exactly why, but uh, that seemed to be the case. So, if you want unassembled PCBs rather than putting them in the UV box, which is you know normally what you'd have to do the etching tank and then uh, the UV lighting, whatnot, you can do it with this, but not with that program. And that just sort of cuts out, you know, you basically just make them in the pressure chamber and then put them on the assembly line, and you get that, which is a little bit nicer. So, why did I want these advanced presser tubes, you might ask? Well, that's because... Oh, pneumatic dynamo, that's interesting. Um, I wanted, there you go, a flux compressor. So, converts forge energy, or RF or whatever, into compressed air, which 
I, I really wanted to get away from having to have air compressors all the time. So I made myself a flux compressor and I've got it running here. Um, so what it does, I've got a blazing solar panel, which produces about 90 RF per tick. If you look here, uh, no, here input, uh, maximum energy uses, input rate 132 at the moment. So pretty good, pretty all right. We're, we're doing... We're doing okay. Now, the problem is, you can see, it only has 2.75 pressure, which is pretty poops, right? Pretty poops. Um, it needs to be basically under 50. I've got it 51, which seems to be okay at the moment. I've put a, a little a little heat sink up there, and I've got a speed upgrade. So without that, that is, <laughs> it actually goes a lot slower. Goes a lot slower. You can see here basically this is what you're after. Um, so you can see the pressure is 2.75, and you can see here max production 2.67. Air is that much, which is it sort of all correlates basically. Now I've tried putting in a volume thing so that there's more air in, thinking that maybe that will upgrade, and it sort of does say here um, volume upgrade that uh, air causing the air pressure to drop. It, I, I haven't got that to work, but putting a speed upgrade does basically up the pressure, which is what I want, but it also ups the temperature and it ups the rate of RF usage. But we're going to need, I think we're basically going to need um, more upgrades. So volume upgrades, yes, I need speed upgrades, 10. So that's quite a lot. And speed upgrades, we basically need, have I got any more oil? I do. Is that still... Uh, is that still working or is it not? I'm so confused. Temperature is 258 degrees, which is cool. Is it because there's loads of kerosene and that is full? I think so. Oh, that is annoying. What can I do with kerosene? Let's have a gander. Um, I can put stuff out and get emeralds. I can put it in there and get gasoline. And then with that, I can get LPG. Okay. So that's something, I guess. Okay. 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 Um, let's just let's just do this quickly, so I can see stuff. Uh, I've got the tiniest amount of that, but. Uh, there we go. And that should hopefully sort of work again now, right? Are you working? Yes, you are. Okay, so to get speed upgrades, you basically need diesel, and you need to convert that into uh, the thermoneumatic processing plant, and then you will get lubricant, and you can make speed upgrades thusly. So I'm going to try and uh, upgrade this a little bit more to make it basically higher pressure, because that's, you know, I want more. I It would be great to get it closer to that 20 so i can actually upgrade everything that would be nice that would be grand that's that's, that's what we're going to try and do um i don't know if this is worth putting through here i don't know i've got loads of kerosene now in my thing i want yeah i want more diesel and i want more lpg but we can seem to ah okay so kerosene goes into gasoline which turns into lpg i get you I get you. So maybe, maybe I do want to just put this in here. Is that is that no? That's not doing a thing at the moment. Let's have a look. What have I got? What have I got here? Um, aha! Put that on, and let's also, whilst we're here, put these in. Now we can also um, we can also upgrade upgrade these now in fact let's just have a look at that quickly because I'm, I'm probably going to try and upgrade these so the advanced air compressor there you go I and mean, that 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 that's probably totally worth doing so tier two version less resistant brother it can generate compressed air using any fuel that can burn in a furnace however this one generates at 50 mil per tick so what i'm thinking is that we upgrade that and then we use botany pots that is what I'm thinking as well, just to help out everything, basically. Um, so that's what I think that's what we're going to try and do. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've done that so many times now. Uh, let's just do that quickly so I can come in here. Oh, I've got lots of molten plastic still. 
Okay. Can I just put you in? Like that quickly. There we go. Like that. And then, is that just doing it automatically? It looks like, yes. Oh, but it's like a really weird amount. Oh, that's so irritating. Okay, this is what we're this is what we're up to. Okay, I've just made enough plastic to I don't know, like probably forever. Um, but if we do so, diesel and that, and there you go, we get some lubricant, which is the next thing that we need. There we go, and. I've I've already done this, but I have been I have been basically going back and uh, oh we got that okay that's quite nice that and that storage housing very nice uh, uh oh I've done oh loot rewards currently not quite working so I haven't been doing that but yeah I went back and sort of did all of those what do we get epic nature's ingot of the skies okay oh two speed upgrades oh that is like beautiful there we go. Is that all of this? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so, I know, I know, I know, I know all of this is like, uh, uh, put you in there, you in there. Right, okay, so, that, this is how we do that, basically, so, uh, I don't know how many we can make, but I don't know if we can make anything else with, with that. Ugh. There we go. Doesn't look like it really, so I'm sort of happy to use all of the lubricant just on speed upgrades because if I don't use it in a machine, I can I can use it on myself uh, when it comes to my legs and getting faster speed on them, which is quite nice. Nine nine upgrades, right? So uh, I've done this here so far, uh, and you can see temperature is 29, but that's because it's not doing anything. So these are now the advanced ones. I've put heat sinks on them, but I don't think they're really doing much. So I've made two vortex thingies. Um, if we do that, and that, yes. Okay, let's have a look, see. So I'll put you there as well, yeah. Um, and I need to move them around and there we go that should right, well let's put three in there now let's put three in there now I mean that's going fairly fast now so that should be good I put another heat sink on here as well just to keep this down but let's how many can I put in uh, speed up, oh max 10 bam, wow okay so Add more power. Okay, let's just see. Let's just sort of see everything. A heat. Yeah, it's way too heat. Input. Maximum energy usage. Wow. 11,000. So that's like, yeah, we're, we're nowhere near that. What if we do five? Um, that's still quite a lot. Warning. Efficiency is at 88%. What does that mean here? Um, okay, so... Yeah, this is what we need to sort of figure out. How fast can this cope, basically? Currently with that, that's going down. So it, it can't cope with one more speed upgrade. Oof. But it, well, it could then for a second. I'm so confused. Oh, and now it's going up again. Okay. Um, so that's not too bad. It is super, super hot, though. And I doubt... Adding another heat sink on the side will actually do anything to that. I would not have thought. Is it going down? It is going down a bit. But I've got no more sides to add heat sinks to now. Uh, how far down does this go? I want to see how... Uh, it's kind of hovering at the three mark at the moment. Uh, oh, ah, that has now... That has now steadied. Oh, but the pressure's gone right down. Although the heat, the temperature's gone down, which is quite nice. Max production, 193. Add more power. Okay. I might have to... I might have to up this bad boy uh, a little bit. Because that, yeah, that won't really do us, if I'm honest. That It would be nicer. That's 
gone down. That has gone down. That's still working. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I want this to be I want this to be better because the annoying thing, right? So you can see my uh, my chest plate is at three point three already. So I I turned on the uh, I like the reach boost. I un disabled it and then re enabled it again. You can sort of see it, it enables it, and you can sort of see now. Or at least you should be able to see um, that I can. I can go a fair amount more. There you go. Like that, like that. Look at that, that reach, which is pretty nice. But what it means is that it just annihilates the pressure on my chest plate and I keep having to, you know, I keep having to put it in here. So what I want to get is the aerial interface. Oh boy, look at that. That's another star. Um, and basically what this does is it... You, it it acts as a player interface, but I believe what you then can do is hook this up to, you know, anything like this, and it will keep everything pressurized in your inventory, which wouldn't that be nice? Now, I don't know if I still have a Nether Star. Maybe I do, in fact. Uh, oh, look at that. I still have two. Can we just actually make one of these? I don't have an omnidirectional hopper, which I can make. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Area interface. Um, so, uh, can I can I put you there? Oh, this, ne oh, this needs RF as well. Hoo -hoo, okay. Okay. Um, but that is happening here. Right, problems. T at least, wow, at least 10 bar. Wow, okay. Um, so, that's working there. Okay, interfacing... Ooh, insert a dispenser upgrade to switch to interfacing food and experience. Food's kind of interesting. Um, I don't think I want that, but that is interesting. Okay. Uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I need a security upgrade in here, really. But I mean, I don't think that's going to be too much issue at the moment. Um, how's this doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's at point eight three because it's too fast. Um. Oh, it's like yeah, it can't it can't keep up. It can't keep up with this because maximum energy usage. Yeah, this is yeah okay. This is actually a little bit of a problem currently. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that was quite a palaver. So I basically I decided to move everything away from all of that because I knew that obviously once things are connected, everything sort of in interacts with one another. So. I moved everything over here, uh, put four heat sinks on this, just did uh, the solar panels and basically put the aerial interface here. And it, it was all sort of working happily. And uh, quite a big note, you need to use the advanced pressure tubes because that max pressure is 20 bar and this goes over that. You can see it's currently at 7.31 and it's rising slowly. And that is because you might be able to tell that my armor is being charged uh, and that is why so you can sort of see it is working very slowly but it is doing it and this was quite a palaver to to figure out so you need a charging module okay uh, which is not not hard to make uh, four charging stations and a pressure tube um, but you need to place it on top of one of these and basically it needs to be pointing in so if you come here to the configuration there you go. I've got uh, I've got the bottom. I think the top and bottom by default are set to armor slots. Um, so you need to charge it from either the top or the bottom. Now I've got on the top. I have obviously the solar panel. So I figured we'll come down to the bottom and do that. But it would not let me connect it. Um, so what I had to do is I had to break the aerial interface, place down the charging module on top here, and then put the aerial interface back on, and that I. I lost a lot of pressure, basically, because I, I was, like, in the 12 or whatever. It is slowly building up, but you can see my armor is being charged, and it's been charged to a point where I don't think I've... I've never I've never had it at all of this at, like, 7.6. I have I think I've basically... It's always been at 4 because I've been charging it in the charging station, which I think really... I don't know what the max is for that. Oh, it's, it is 20, but I've never... I've never had like this high uh, a pressure situation but the error interface otherwise once it gets to 10 bar because you need need to have it with 10 bar but it is it is climbing again there you go 
Now my now my arm is doing. I've got two speed upgrades in here. That is all, and that is fine. Obviously, security upgrade very very important. But I think this is all fine with just that. If I'm honest, um, I think that work that works quite nicely. But you can see here, um, you can hopper things in like into my inventory if I wanted to and you can do lots of interesting stuff if you fancied um armor slot offhand slot that is quite cool that's quite that's quite nifty the end your ender inventory and the curio slot which is I think very cool so I could like hopper stuff into here that is that is really that is really nifty um but really I just wanted my armor to always be you know charging essentially, which it should now. This should do it fine. Um, and I think, do I even need, if I do that right now, yeah, okay. If I do that quickly. <laughs> there we go. How how stupid is, is this speed? Uh, that doesn't feel 10 speed upgrades. That doesn't feel... Run speed. I mean, that doesn't... Okay, yeah, no, that's starting to be, like, pretty... Pretty crazily fast now, okay. Um, you know... Okay, cool. So we've got that. That is... Yeah, that's all fine. That's all that. Are you going up? That's still going up. Everything else is still going up. Let's have a quick look at that. I'm going to enable my magnet. I'm going to enable reach boost again. Um... Mainly just to see if this can sort of cope with everything. Uh, so have I, have I still got reach boost? Yes, you can see. Can you just about see that? Like that that block there? Very nice. Well, we shall see if this basically works. But this is all still charging. You can sort of see that it is. But this is this is really nice. This is like proper great now. So I've got, I've got pretty awesome armor. Also, because this is... Um, being charged RF wise, I, I do believe it charges anything in your inventory. So we already have the player emitter as well from power doing that, but apparently I think this should do it regardless anyway. Um, oh, is it? It's still going up. It is still going up. You can see the chest plate is is lagging behind in being charged. I'm hoping at some point it'll it'll sort of catch up when all the other um, all the other things are like charged up completely. I think it will. It looks like everything else is still going up. I don't know what the full charge of that is. It looks like it might be 10. Because I think it's the blue the blue thing. Anyway, this episode has dragged on a fair amount now, so I will bid you all adieu. Thank you so much. Thank you for bearing with me as I figure out Pneumaticraft, which I've got to say, I've never gone this far into Pneumaticraft before. I'm liking it so far. It's really nice. It's a bit different, and there's some very cool stuff in it. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the armor so far. As like mid-game armor, I think it's pretty nifty. So thank you so much. Do the like and comment and subscribe thing if you fancy. I've been acted. This has been Enigmatica 6, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.